Would you sacrifice your life to save other people? While most of us would have to think about it, this girl did it without even a second thought. Kiara was only 10 years old, but she was not just an ordinary girl. She was a superhero. And when she saw two little girls in danger, she jumped in and saved them. But unfortunately, she lost her life in the process. Let's dive in. Kiara Vera Larson was born on January 12, 2006 in Lakeside, California. She grew up a beautiful and cheerful girl who brought so much love and happiness to everyone she met. She had this nurturing instinct inside her that made her want to protect and care for those around her. She was also very responsible, and some would even describe her as an old soul because she was wise beyond her years. At 10 years old, Kiara was a popular babysitter in the neighborhood, and all the parents loved her. They knew that they could count on her to look after their young ones when they were not around. Kiara attended Blossom Valley Elementary School and had so many friends. She always seemed to get along with basically everyone regardless of their age. On February 22nd, 2016, Kara came home from school and was playing outside her house when she noticed something horrifying. Her stepmom's car, which had been parked on the sloped driveway, had started moving backward and was heading straight at the two little girls playing in the yard. The car was going at 10 miles per hour, but quickly increased speed as it rolled down the dirt driveway towards the girls. Kara had no time to think. She rushed towards the car, jumped on its path, and pushed the girls out of the way. But before she could jump into safety herself, the runaway vehicle struck Kiara, knocking her down and dragging her several feet before it pinned her on the fence. Everyone in the neighborhood heard the commotion and came out to check what was happening. They found Kiara badly injured with blood and dirt all over her body. The two girls, Emma and Addison Jenkins, only had minor scratches from when Kiara pushed them. The little girl saved the life of another little child. The car was rolling backwards and she pushed her out of the way and got ran over herself. She's an angel. Immediately, the emergency Emergency services were called to the scene, and Kiara was rushed to Sharp Grossman Hospital. But sadly, she passed away. It was a truly sad day for the whole community. Her family was beyond devastated, and neighbors could not hide their sorrow. They could not get over the loss of such an extraordinary girl who had sacrificed her life to save two toddlers. Very sweet little girl. She was uh, best friends with my daughter. <laughs> And uh, it's very sad what happened, but uh, she was loved by everybody. The California Highway Patrol officers came to the scene to determine why the vehicle moved. They called Kiara a hero for what she had done. It's unclear what made the vehicle roll down, but some media stations said that Kiara's two-year-old brother had climbed into the parked Mercedes and pushed the gear shift into neutral. But investigators said that no one was in the car. They, however, found that a safety mechanism in the car that should have prevented the accident was broken. The girl's mom, Alessa Jenkins, could not believe that she would have lost both of her daughters if it had not been for Kiara. She saved both of my daughter's lives. These are my two kids that I have and both of them could have been gone in an instant. She she stepped in and took over and did what she knows best to do and that's to protect those around her. The girl's stepdad, Jonathan Guish, was beyond grateful, saying that he would not know how to repay Kiara and her family for what she did. He said that Kiara was like a big sister to his little girls and all Always looked out for them. She was a big sister to them. She was always looking out for them. Apparently she would give her life for my kids. In the weeks that followed, friends, community members, and even strangers from across the world sent their support and prayers to Kiara's family. The story touched so many hearts, including then-President Barack Obama. He sent a personal letter to the family saying, Michelle and I were saddened to learn of the loss of your daughter, Kiara. Words cannot match your sorrow. I hope you can find comfort in knowing that Kiara's spirit will live on in you and those who mourn with you. Your family will remain in our thoughts. A GoFundMe page was started to help the family with funeral expenses, and in just six days, it had raised over $90,000. The Larsons were moved by the overwhelming support, which went beyond their expectations. They posted on the page saying, The entire Larson family cannot thank every single one of you for your love, support, and prayers. You have no idea how much seeing the support from so many people has helped us during this incredibly tough time. Again, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Kiara's selfless act was recognized by the state of California, who termed her a true hero and a guardian angel. 
Hospital. Her former school, Blossom Elementary, even dedicated the yearbook to her. They also brought grief counselors to talk to Kira's heartbroken classmates. As a part of the healing process, the students were asked to write short letters to Kira. And this note from Kira's best friend will break your heart. Kira, it has been a really long time since I've seen you. In 23 days, it will be a year since I've seen you. I miss you so, so, so much. I wish I could see you. Maybe even go back in time and prevent that incident from happening. But we all know that's impossible. I can't wait till I see you again. P.S best friends forever. Love, Ruby. In 2017, Kira was among the people to be honored with the Carnegie Hero Medal. The medal is usually awarded to people in the U.S. and Canada who risk their lives to an extraordinary degree while saving or attempting to save others. The heroes or their families receive the medal and some cash. The award was introduced over 100 years ago by the famous steel tycoon Andrew Carnegie, who was inspired by two men who died trying to save their workmates when a then coal mine collapsed in 1904. Kira is one of the few youngsters who have ever received the medal. Another one is an 11-year-old girl called Natalie Martin, who rescued her baby sister from a burning house. Natalie went back to the house to save her two siblings, but sadly, the three were trapped inside and later died from smoke inhalation. The Larson family had a lot of mixed feelings about receiving the award. While they were happy and proud of their little girl's achievement, it reminded them of the tragic way in which she lost her life. Kira's stepmom, Cherise Larson, said, It comes with a range of emotions. You're so happy that she won this, but it brings back memories that she's gone and the reason that she did this. It's been five years since Kira tragically lost her life, and the community is still trying to cope with the loss. Alyssa Jenkins will never forget the girl who died so that her two daughters may live. She is truly a hero, and she will forever be my kid's guardian angel. Kira's family has made several memorials for her one at her grandpa's place, and another at the location she died. The one at her grandpa's has an engraved marker surrounded by flowers to attract butterflies. The words that appear on the stone are, angel in heaven, hero on earth, always in our hearts. They've also dedicated a wall in their home where they've placed pictures, paintings, and messages to the little girl. Kira's grandpa, Preben Larson, says that he misses his granddaughter every day and that he always talks to her when he looks up into the sky. Kira was an amazing girl. It takes a special person to know knowingly risk their lives to save another. Kira didn't have to do what she did. She could have called for help and waited, but instead, she threw herself into the path of a moving car, knowing very well that she would be hurt in the process. The world truly lost an angel. Rest in peace, Kira Larson. That's the end of our video today. What do you think of Kira's action? Would you have done the same in her position? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section.